Hello, 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 hello. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday and it's time for another stream. And we're going to continue what we've done yesterday. So yesterday we basically, um, or well, in the beginning of the week, we started posing or finishing the final pose of our character that we currently work on, as well as starting to block out the clothing, the second layer of clothing basically for the character. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to continue doing today. Of course, we have two topics, as you can see right there. Two, two. Um, we have the 30 minute quick sketch, as always, and then we have the uh, leather, leather armor modeling. Um, the only thing that really needs to be blocked out um, that is missing would be the cloak and the basic, yeah, the cloak, the shoulder sort of, I guess, like a little bit of shoulder, uh, I don't know, fabric as well, as well as the hat. And then we basically have everything blocked out and then we can go into detailing. That would be the next step. And uh, that's what we're going to, what we will do afterwards. Um, today, we will probably finish blocking out pretty early on because the only thing that is missing is the hat and the, um, what was it? The, um, the cloak. And then afterwards we can go into some detailing. Um, and that's going to be, yeah, the next step. And after everything is detailed, we can probably go into, um, oh, of course we need to add to the, uh, the glaive as well. The glaive takes a little bit of time, of course, because it's so detailed, but that's not going to be our concern right now. We are concerned with the uh, the clothing so that's what we're going to do today detailing the clothing some more and adding the last few pieces welcome back hustler i hope you had a great day um yeah without further ado if you want to only see the modeling process for the leather armor or if you want to see the quick sketch the quick sketch we're going to go right into in just a second but if you want to see the second topic you're going to see timestamps in the description and in the timeline so that you can jump there immediately. Um, I would say we go straight into the quick sketch. And today we have, uh, oh, that's an interesting quick, that's an interesting quick sketch. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, yeah, today we have this, this creature right here. Um, I found this, I, I like these more like multi-sketch pieces i guess where you just have these sketches of different animals or different creatures or whatever um where you can just choose one or maybe even multiple for multiple quick sketches and then just you know try to recreate them um the good thing is with these quick sketches or with these sketches that we um have here for example there are um these ones are quite detailed but in general they are quite quite rough you could say you so you don't you have a little bit more room to play with um for this one you know you could say well this one is quite detailed so we can't really play around too much we have the major forms and all that already here um but we can really do more than that anyway so um you know sometimes you have less detailed sometimes you have more detailed sketches i definitely like the less detailed sketches a little bit more especially for these quick sketches because then you can just kind of play around a little bit more and just do your own thing um, with sort of like a base idea in mind that you can still follow so yeah, this will be our scope for today. Um, I think everything's ready to begin. I don't know if there's anything more we need to prepare. I don't think so. So let me just quickly check that everything's ready. Resolution, uh, perfect. Everything's ready, okay. So, quick sketch is ready. We have the, um, the timer, there you go, okay. I would say quick sketch in three, two, one, go. There you go. Okay. So we will begin with the head as always. Um, of course, with this piece, and I mean, the only real thing that we need to pay attention to is the head because it's the main piece or the main part of the piece. Everything else is sort of like secondary. So I'm going to focus mostly on that. This is a pretty, I guess, like the head shape seems to be pretty simple in its most basic shapes. So I'm just going to push it, push and pull around to get the basic head shape going. Um, yeah. We can, we can uh, soon get into detailing. And as I said yesterday, for the, for the, um, what was it? For the, piece that we're working on right now 
for the character, um, which also means that we can um, kind of play around and test how um, it, how sort of detailing with modeling or sort of like poly modeling works. I've never really modeled poly model too much in my uh, time using Blender, so that'll definitely be an interesting part of the um, entire piece. Of course, we've modeled. I mean, the, we sculpted the the first la layer of armor. We sculpted, but I think if we model it, I think it can ta it can maybe save some time. That's why I'm kind of curious um, if that's actually true. That it's just like a hypothesis right now. But I think um, if we do it properly, we can probably save some time there. Especially if we set up the geometry um, how we need it to be. There you go. Because if we, if we set it up properly immediately, we don't have to re-apologize afterwards, which can save us quite a long time. We had like one or two streams trying to, or re-apologizing, not trying to, but we actually did. Re-apologizing the, um, the, the scopes of the armor pieces. So maybe we can save that time by just modeling it. There you go. We played around with, you know, poly modeling yesterday already, trying to sculpt. I mean, scoped, trying to model a sort of knife or spike-like shape, which, you know, requires some tweaking and moving, and it's an organic shape, so it's a little bit more complex than just like a box, I guess, or like a, I don't know, a shoulder piece. Uh, but it came out pretty good, so I'm quite confident that we can use that to um, make good-looking uh, armor. I mean, you know, I know that it's possible, we just need to do it, <laughs> basically. Okay. Let's bring in the eyes. Good old forehead here. This look character, I like this um, head shape. It makes it look more sort of aggressive and um, also sort of um, agile because of the head shape. Or yeah, well, especially aggressive. It doesn't really look like very aggressive, probably because of the eye shape, because it's just like this round eye shape. It looks more like a plant eater. <laughs> but um, the rest of the head definitely looks a little bit like Godzilla, which, you know, it itself looks kind of, especially the new design looks more aggressive than the old one, at least. With this very, very stern, like, um, angular sort of face here in the front, the nose and all that stuff. Okay, pull that back. probably pull it even further forward. We don't need that much head. The head is actually quite small. There you go. Pull it up. Perfect. Do the same on the side. We have the cheekbone right here that is sort of protruding. And then we also have the chin, the jaw. Jaw's a little bit too thick right now. There you go. Okay. Putting in the teeth here. There you go. Okay, and then we can go into the neck. Should we do the neck first or should we? Yeah, probably. Um, is the head shape okay so far? We could probably pull it even further forward. You can see the distance from the eye to the um, to the back of the head is quite far for the scope right now. So I'm just going to pull it forward even further. It's quite, quite, quite short actually, the distance. I'm trying to minimize it a little bit. There you go. Okay. Okay. I like the the head shape right now. Let's continue. Um, let's go to the eyebrows here. They look quite simple, more like this. There you go, making this sort of head plate here. 
and then they kind of end in this spiky bit. Let's go into that later. Let's go to the cheekbone first. Detail this out some more. We also need to add these sort of ex exterior teeth there in just a second. Let's just first continue this. There you go. I have been pretty good. Hope you have been pretty good as well. Maybe even amazing. I've been just, uh, you know, I was able to, so for the, um, pr like, um, like master slide presentation templates, basically for work, there's a, um, we also want to include mockups of a phone and, and a PC. So I already at some point previously modeled a, an iPhone before, and then I, um, you know, use that for the mockups, you know, because I can put that in an environment so it makes it look more interesting than just some sort of random, I don't know, like a mockup that just has like a silhouette of, of, an, of a phone. Um, I would, I can rather use stuff like this, like a rendered scene, basically. Um, and yeah, I did that for the phone mockups and now we are missing or we don't really have a good PC mockup. So I'm probably just going to model a um like a like a display with a keyboard maybe to uh, use that as a mockup so that's uh something cool that i can do now at work <laughs> or that i um that i do right now back you know smuggling in some 3d at work <laughs> haven't really we haven't really done any 3d work for clients yet but you know at least we, we can i can kind of do it for internal stuff there you go put the teeth in there i'm not going to make it a separate piece because that'll because it's so close to the mouth it, it'll just make it weird so i'm just going to bring it closer like this there you go so it's part of the same sort of layer There you go. Just separate it by adding a crease. There you go. Hope you've been well as well. I'm guessing you could you can't really <laughs> smuggle in your 3D work add work. <laughs> I mean, you know, you could, I don't know, make a 3D animation how you install r routers and then put that, give that to all the old people so they know what they need to do, but I don't think that'll work. <laughs> oh wait, is the, um, the plugin isn't enabled anymore, right? Why is the plugin not enabled anymore? Is it disabled or is it, is it actually, hold on. No, there it is. Why is it, oh. Do I have to activate it all the time? Okay, that's interesting. Well, yeah, I, I grabbed screen cast keys yesterday. So you know exactly what I'm pressing. To make it, uh, I guess, more, you know, easier to see what the actual workflow is and what I do. So you can go in with 25% speed and uh, completely follow what I press. You can see. I press 70, uh, 70 times F just to <laughs> change my brush size and all that stuff. F, 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 basically. Yeah, that's... Now you can actually see what I press. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, pretty simple to install, so why not? There you go. Okay. That's pretty good. I like the beginning of this. Um, let's see, we can probably make this flatter. There you go. That's pretty good. I like this. Maybe we can pull this further forward just slightly. There you go. Maybe we can bring this closer together. Okay. That's pretty good. The eye looks kind of um, low resolution, low res. So I'm going to just probably pull it up a little bit so it has some more room above this thing here. And then 
kind of just create a hole right there that we can go with 50 resolution and add some more detail. But before we do that, let's go in here and add the neck. There you go. Invert, grab the snake hook brush, and then pull it back. Make a huge neck, pull it down. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Is it probably, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's way too thin. There you go. Okay, let's give this neck part some more details and then we can go into the horns. So what I'd like to do for this, is actually just go this like crossways and just do this. So we can create these nice horns here and also this sort of structure on top like this. That looks pretty cool, I think. Pretty simple to add and pretty effective for these sort of scales. There you go. Pretty simple, pretty easy. We can maybe even go and subtract so it's even more apparent like this. Look at that. Easy. Then at the bottom, what I like to do is just these flat plates by adding using the uh, clay strips brush to add the um, planes like this. There you go. And then we have the nice structure down there. We could probably pull this down a little bit. There you go. What I also like to do, probably what we can do here is just use the crease brush and kind of create like a smaller neck area there. And then we can go in here and maybe add some more structure here. Shouldn't be too hard. We just use the clay strips brush to just do this. There you go. So we can add this very, very slight structure here, which is going to make this look more organic than the super, super smooth surface. This is supposed to be a scaly animal creature rather than a uh, <laughs> an animal with smooth skin. So doing this very quickly adds a little bit of structure. There you go. We could also go in here and use the uh, crease brush to just kind of reinforce it if we want to. There you go. But I'm going to keep it there for now. Okay. Let's go to the main part of the, uh, the animal, which is, of course, the horns. We're going to make some room for the horns. So we probably need to make this bring this higher. Make this bring this further forward as well. There you go. Remove some here. Okay. Maybe even more. I actually thought about making a triceratops first, but that looked so complicated that I <laughs> that I didn't do it. Maybe looking at the skeleton wasn't really the best idea to have an, to get an idea how complicated it, it actually is. But I decided to do these ones here instead of, or this one here instead. At least it looks simpler. There you go. Maybe we'll do a Triceratops mo uh, tomorrow. Or we'll do one of those, or one of the other ones on this sort of sketch piece here. We'll see. There you go. Okay. Looks kind of rough, but that's okay. We can get into it later. If we have time. As always. There you go. And then we can use the good old mask brush. Let me just pull this open. Rip this open some more. Probably safe as well. Good idea. <laughs> Hold on. There you go. There you go. What is it? Uh, wrong folder. Of course. 227.
How's the uh, daily daily character or daily head scope going? Have you done it already today? Or I guess you just came back from work. So you can really didn't really have that much time yet. Yeah, I think day, doing stuff like this daily can really help in um, reinforcing. I think so. I think the, the the sort of pattern, which is very very useful when you want to learn something, is learning something, learning something new, like a new technique or even just a new program, and then doing projects, repeat after repeat after repeat, to just reinforce what you've learned before. So basically, by um, you learn something new, it you kind of have an idea how it works now, and now you do more and more and more projects, maybe even daily, just to kind of you know <laughs> reinforce the concept and idea in your mind, so that it um, yeah, it's basically just like second nature at some point. I think that's the best way to do stuff like this. So quick sketches are always a, nice, a great idea to do that. Go pull it back. Doing it right now, I got frustrated that the face looked too long just to take a profile look and notice the forehead eye area was too far behind. Wasted 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I had a quick sketch before that I worked on. I think it was the female ogre actually. Um, I worked on it for I don't know, like um, like 50 minutes or so. Until I looked at it from afar and looked like, well, this is not going to get anywhere in the next 15 minutes. So then I had to go for like, I don't know, had to do some errand. Then I came back and just did it again and it looked way, way better. Sometimes I think it's not too... It, it hurts, you know, but uh, sometimes it's better to just restart. I'm not saying that you have to do, you know, you have to restart. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's better to just do a new one instead of trying to save the old one. go that looks pretty good pretty long horns maybe we can create a better bend here okay oh maybe it's a little bit too long that should be good enough there you go Okay, then he has, or it has some more horns here. This wall, this one here needs to be further apart. So we have some more room here. Then we can remove some geometry here so that we can add the small horn. There you go. And then go in here, select it. There you go. Pull it out. Oh, what is that? There you go. It's kind of flat right now, so let me add some more detail here. I mean, some more um, volume like this. There you go. Do the same on the other side. There you go. Perfect. Then we go in here using the crease brush again just to kind of give it some more structure. And then we have a nice horn. Okay, I think we're ready for stage two. Save it. We have nine minutes. Perfect. Uh, 50. I like how the lips turned out. So right now I'm trying to change the shape of the head while on like dynamic body 75. My PC lags a bit and the entire head is unsmooth. Looks like a horror. <laughs> you can try um, st sticking with... So I never go over 50, maybe even 20. 
until I'm satisfied with the head shape. Um, because not only can you focus better on this, the bigger, like the bigger picture, um, you can also move vertices easier. As I said before, sculpting with 75 dynamic topology, dynamic topology resolution is quite intense. Especially when, when you want to move or add or subtract or whatever, a lot of geometry. Um, I noticed that when I wanted to sculpt a character and started with 50 resolution. Um, so maybe, you know, you can try starting with 20 and then sticking with that until you're satisfied with the, with the general shape. <clears throat> oh. There you go. 75, I like, I used 50 for, oh, hold on, what have it? Oh, okay. I use it um, like I use twenty for the general shape. I use fifty for the um, detailing of the general shapes. Maybe adding some medium shapes as well, and then I use one hundred for details. I think seventy-five is actually probably too high for like quick daily sculpts. I don't think you need to go that far, even if you go in with two hours, like with a two-hour <clears throat> two-hour time frame. Maybe um, might be better to, to stick with uh, with 20 or 50, probably 50, um, like after you're happy with the 20, 20 resolution uh, result or sculpt. There you go, that's an eye. <laughs> Make it more round, maybe. There you go. Push it more in here. Okay. Let's detail these pieces here a little bit. We have six minutes left, perfect. Creating some smaller spikes here just by using the uh, snake hook brush. There you go. Perfect. Okay, maybe we can detail this part here. I think the eyes are quite important. Having a lot of detail here can help a lot in making the character look more, uh, you know, give it some more. I think the structure around the eye is very important. So I wanna detail it out some more, especially here. And maybe we can separate the horn from these spikes here. There you go. Okay. The head shape looked good in the beginning, but then I kept adding mesh to the lips and the jaw area good to elongate it. I started with 20 for the big shape, then 35 for muscle, and finally 50 to 75. The lip smacking sound, I can't help but hear it constantly. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought as well. I thought like, <laughs> why did I even mention it? Why did I? Now everybody's gonna hear it all the time. Yeah, I'm probably gonna um, fix that over the weekend. Shouldn't be a big change. Just like a need to just increase the, um, the volume at which the microphone picks up the sound and then that should be good. There you go. OK, 
Okay, let's go to the nose. I think the nose can use some more work here. There you go. Three minutes, 41. Okay, perfect. Do some more details here for the T2. I think that can be helpful. Especially because this isn't supposed to be part of the same sort of um, piece, I guess you could say. So I'm just going to try to separate them more. Oh, that's actually not the part here. There you go. That's like telling someone that they got an itch on their body and they keep itching. Or you, that you got to focus to breathe through your nose. Yeah, exactly. Or, no, all you have to say is basically, oh, I think there's a mosquito in here, and then you, you feel the the, uh, the itching, the itching crawls in, and you can't stop it. You can't stop but be paranoid. <laughs> or spiders, of course, you know, any, any insects, basically. I wonder why well, it's, it's, it's the same with um, when you like stub your toe or you like you hurt yourself mildly. Then I don't know, for some reason, um, it seems like the body's reaction is to sort of make the feeling stronger of pain, basically stronger than it actually is until you look at it and realize that, it, that there's nothing, nothing really got hurt. And then it just stops. It's like your brain wants to confirm visually that there's nothing going on or that there's nothing bad. Uh, and until you do it, until you look at it, it just starts hurting more than it should be, <laughs> which is so weird. Or, or, or not, maybe not necessarily looking at it, but maybe also touching, you know, like, you know, touching something uh, when you just hurt your toe, for example, immediately makes it like uh, way, way less. Um, hurt way way less which is so weird and then you know you can purposely even like avoid touching it and you just you just feel how it just just, just gets like it just stays it either stays it stays or it gets worse and worse and worse until you just you know put your hands on it for a second and then it's all good again There you go. Little teeth here. Perfect. We have 50 seconds, so how about we add some spikes here? Should be pretty simple. There you go. Just extend the one that we already have. Perfect. Well, the horns look pretty good, to be honest. Maybe we can make them a little bit sharper here. There you go. That's looking pretty good. Uh, the rest looks pretty good. I like it. I think it came out pretty good. Looks pretty similar to the uh, the concept. Maybe we can go in here a little bit more. Just kind of give this some structure. There you go. Perfect. Nice. I like it. And time is over. Nice, that's nice. I like the front view. It looks so crazy. It looks like some sort of Chinese, I don't know, monster painting or image. It's time to uh, light it up. Oh, hold on. We need to remove the back. There you go. Oh. Perfect. 
We also need the to add the eyes and then we're good to go. Got two spiders in my room room's corner. The bros eating all the mosquitoes and flies. Yeah, that's why I don't really remove the spiders when I clean my room. You know, I just sort of touch them and they, they just go away into their corner. <laughs> and then they don't bother me anymore and they, you know, keep my room clean from insects. Except these enormous huge flies that just don't seem to fall into any, you know, into any nets. Okay. Looks like the wooden wooden scope on on the front of a Viking ship. Yeah, that could be or on like a Chinese ship. That could be true. <laughs> okay. Let's uh add lighting. Uh first of all we need the light. There you go. Oh. Okay, let's probably... We can probably use a similar position for the camera that we have in this sketch. Somewhere over here. That's pretty cool. I like this. We probably need to move either this forward or the... The, the focus point backwards. I think for moving it forward is better. There you go. Let's move it back a little bit more. Little bit more so it fits fully into the frame. Very good. Nice. Okay. Next up, we need eyes. So how about we use some UV spheres? Perfect. Oh. There you go. Perfect. Time to add a shader for this. Oh, we need to add the shader in general. Um, material. Which one is it? This one probably... Uh, actually, this would be the wrong one. Of course it is. Well, I can actually at least use it for the eyes. Let's grab the other one. There it is. Ah, go on. Move away, fly. That looks pretty good. Uh, we can probably... Spice it up a little bit with um, these handles here. Ooh. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what we could also try? What about going in here into the eyeball? Rotating it. And then... Oh. Wait. I rotated it by 9 degrees. <laughs> there you go. We could maybe model an eye in here. Look at this. This already looks like an eye. So what if we just grab this inner piece here? Maybe even more. Should we add more? Yeah, let's add one more. Then we... Actually, no, let's just use the middle piece. There you go. We grab... Nothing. Uh, we need to enable linear proportional editing. Move it in. There you go, and do this. Perfect. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to just sharpen the edge right here, and then we're good. Perfect. It doesn't really look sharpened. Why not? <laughs> Apparently that doesn't work for smooth... Smooth, um... Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. There you go. That looks better. Can we actually see it? Not really. We can probably now work with a different shader, though. It looks pretty cool. Now we just need to add a different shader. Hold on. What if we just use a good old white shader? Ooh. It looks pretty cool, but I kind of want to have it probably slightly gray. Like this. Just to set it apart from the rest of the uh, the head. That's pretty cool. 
then setting the roughness to zero so it's nice and shiny. That's pretty cool. I like this. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. Uh, let's do the render. 50% as always. Oh, that's uh, just the lighting. I haven't really done that yet. Of course, that's why it looks so flat. Now I know. <laughs> now I remember. There's still one step. Let's see. Maybe if we decrease the size, we can make it look a little bit sharper. The uh, the the shadows. We can bring in some sharpness here. That's probably better. We can also remove the cube, which will make the entire environment a little bit darker, especially if we go to the world, bring down the world lighting. There you go. Perfect. Grab the other light and bring a nice color in here. Actually, should we put it to this side? Let's see. That's pretty cool. We can probably add another one on the other side over here. Maybe this one can be colored. Let's see what color do we need. What color would look good? I think red could look pretty cool. Like a reddish orange like this. That's pretty cool. I like this. 500 probably shouldn't be that strong. Ooh. Let's see. What if we put it somewhere else? Just to kind of see what the different lights give us. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so many possibilities. I like this. I kind of want to reduce the size though, so that it's more concentrated on a certain area. Like this. I like this. That's pretty cool. Okay. We can maybe reduce this. I mean, increase the strength. No, wait. If we set it to 250, it should be stronger, right? No, it's not. Okay. Sometimes, it, of course, if you increase the the brightness or the power, the, bright, the brighter it is, the whiter the, the color gets. So you kind of have to find a good balance between bright and um, color. Actually, no. I think if you change the color here, it actually just gets... Um, more of the color, like it gets saturated, more saturated. So if we set this to 10,000. Oh, yeah, it, it actually gets a little bit orangey, which looks pretty cool. Hold on. <laughs> I think it's too strong. But if we set this to 5,000, yeah, I think that's better. Might be better if we put that somewhere over here, though. Um, maybe 2,000 might be enough. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually like it more when it's only on the front because then it's more focused on a certain area. I like this more. That looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I'm going to keep this. <laughs> it's like uh, when, it, when, when a kid comes back to their parents and found some sort of animal. Some wild, crazy, aggressive, dangerous animal. This is my new friend. I'm going to keep this. Can I keep this one? <laughs> okay. Perfect. Let's do the first render and then we can do post. Get your drinks ready. It's almost time. Even better, it looks like there's a campfire on the beach where the ships are docked. Oh, true. <laughs> um, okay.
Ooh. That's pretty cool. Okay. Perfect. It is time to render. There you go. And it is also time to hydrate yourself. So do it now or do it never. This is the only chance you get. I wonder, so I wonder if when somebody like, oh, hold on, that's actually a mosquito. I have my good old glass here where I can just trap them in. Oh, missed. Come on. Easy, just flew into it. Hold on, can you see it? You can see it. Oh, you can see my face as well. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring that out real quick. We need two seconds. Well, I okay, I'll see you in a second. it out of midair and then just deported it I don't know why but this glass is just super effective I just you know I don't know why but I think it's because they generally just like insects generally just um, see light instead of color which means if you use like a glass and you just put it over them they don't really see it until it's like until they feel it because of the vibration that happens when you put it on the floor um so if you just use a glass like this and then you put it on them they actually generally just don't they just don't see it <laughs> sometimes you have these these flies like on your i don't know somewhere and you you can just slowly do this and until you're like on them and then at some point they realize <laughs> and then you can just use the um the bottle cap or the uh whatever cap and yeah bring them somewhere else okay it is done it is time to save look at it bit me oh no right on my knuckle why why do you do this it's actually crazy how um how aggressive they are so I had one on my shirt and then I like I saw it trying to like I don't know sting through the shirt and um I blew on it like put, like yeah I blew on it and it just st stayed there it really like tried to stick like stay on the shirt just to you know somehow get some blood I guess <laughs> um it's crazy how how long they actually stay on that spot once they sort of try to suck blood you know i think the the most vul they are the most vulnerable when they try to or when they when they're about when they basically land on their prey and try to suck blood i think then they just they just i don't know they don't care about their life anymore they just try to um they, they just try to um get some blood it's super weird okay There you go. I like this new style with just adding one color to the black and white image. I think it really elevates the um, overall look. Black and white um, can highlight... I think it can also be a pretty cool style, but it, I think, you know, we've been done... We've done so many black and white sketches now that it, at some point just gets kind of too much. So adding a single color... Um, makes it look pretty cool. I think that's all we need, really. A little bit more contrast, and that's it. Perfect. Okay.
Dude, how long is this song? Five minutes. Okay, five and a half. They get bigger too? Yeah. I've never really watched them. I just tried to swat them away. Never really, you know, looked at them <laughs> to see how they like suck blood out of you. I've seen these videos where they test different mosquito sprays. I could never do that. See, having like this super, like this box of um, mosquitoes that just fly around in there, like 500 or so, and then you stick your hand in there with like a small bit of spray in some area so you know so you can see whether or not they go there and like sting and you can kind of gauge how effective it is because you could see how many like how many um stings you got in that area <laughs> and then it's like well i'm gonna try how good this spray is and then he, he puts like a little bit on there and then he puts his hand in and it's like 50 got stung like 70 times everywhere else Oh, well, the spray is pretty good. Now I just need to wait a, a week or so to get rid of all these <laughs> incredibly itchy stings. <laughs> Instead of just spraying your, the entirety of your hand to see if any if any mosquitoes go there. Like, why? <laughs> why do you why do you do this to yourself? Okay. Perfect. Oh, we're really quick today. Nice. So we have a lot of time for modeling. I like it. Here near the water, there's entire swarms when I used to go camping in the dump. Danube. If you hold your arm out where there's no smoke from the campfire, you had will get black from all the mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's the worst. Because you hear them, you feel them, but you don't really see them. You see them like for a split second, then they're gone again. So you know that they're there, but you don't, you know, you don't really see them afterwards. So you, you know, you still know that they're there. You always sort of move a little bit. So you kind of try to avoid them, but they don't really care if you move a little bit. <laughs> a lot of time for me to distract you. I mean, so far you, you, you failed. Um, so, I mean, you know. So far, it didn't work. Maybe I'm getting more resilient. Um, yeah, let me upload this and then we can continue with the piece. I'm actually excited to go into the next step detailing because I wanted to see how effective it is to model details instead of um, sculpting them. Um, because then we can, you know, learn a little bit more about hard surface modeling as well. Okay, there you go. Do you dare challenge me? I mean, who says I'm a mortal? <laughs> Do you know me? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I'm going to see you in three minutes and then we're going to continue with this. Exactly this. I actually modeled the cape yesterday after the stream, like in a few, like one minute. Just to see what it looks like. Um, yeah, I like it. Hold on, it takes a while to to load the file because it's, I guess, so big. Oh no, I see. Do look at this. Can you see it? Oh no. <laughs> Why? Why are you like this? And there it is. So we have this piece here in the middle that gets um sort of. So there's sort of like a buckle here that connects this piece of the clo cloak to the other side right here. And then if you want to detach it, you can just detach it here and then you can take off the cloak. Um, and then here you have two, like one more here, one more sort of piece of cloth, one on the other side, and then we have the hand. And that's, oh, we also have the, uh, the mouthpiece. And that's basically all we need. And then we can go into detailing. I think the cloak shouldn't be too hard because we can just use multi-resolution to sculpt out um, details. We can probably also add some smaller pieces there with a few different models um yeah probably stuff like this could take a little bit longer although these pieces are quite simple yeah i'm glad i found your channel going through your final fantasy character scope series later today oh nice that's nice welcome lemon lemon j <laughs> hope you enjoyed your 
your Wednesday. I was actually surprised that it's already Wednesday. Time went by so fast. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, uh, you know, we get kind of lost in some topics and then we're a little bit slower. But, um, you know, now we're here. And yeah, I would guess maybe one or two more weeks. Well, probably like one week more for the character. And then maybe one week for the ghost. We'll see how long we'll, we'll take for, for the scythe. I don't know how long that's going to take. I'll probably... I think what I'm going to do this week is focus on the sculpt instead of making a video because I want to get I want to finish this at some point and um, four times like two hours two to three hours four times a week isn't really enough to really get this done in a reasonable amount of time <laughs> so um yeah probably gonna work on this over the weekend instead of making a video maybe we'll see okay I'm going to see you in three minutes and then we will, um, we're going to begin. We're going to begin continuing this. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in three minutes. Enjoy the completion. There you go. Three minutes are over. And now we can begin. We can begin the continuation of the uh, the model. Okay. So let's um, finish the cloak, and then we can go to the mouthpiece as well as the head. <clears throat> okay. So this is pretty simple you know I, I guess it's already done you don't really need to do much more we could maybe separate this piece here because it's supposed to be a buckle we can maybe also I guess refine the edge here let's do that real quick so let me remove this this will be a separate piece as far as I saw in the references um, there aren't really that many great references for this piece so it was kind of hard to see but um, hold on Oh, there was actually like a collar as well. Let me see if we can see the collar. 
that's the color right there, I think. So we need to add a, add a color as well. Col color. <laughs> um, okay. I've grabbed a few more screenshots, one, fr one from the back. You can see here these sort of um, attachments to the cloak. It either goes, I think it goes to the front. That's what I mean with this going back to the front over this sort of cloth piece. Um, then we have one from the front. It looks very, very rough, low resolution, just because it's so, um, it's a video, 720p. <laughs> so we have these blurry frames here. Um, and then one more. It's really hard to see, but I think underneath the cloak, there's a little bit more, um, like maybe this under armor is actually, actually has like a, like a, what is it called? A collar underneath. I don't really know what it is, but um, there's something there. You can also see it here, how there's this flap, not only there, but also here, as well as when you see it in the, in the, what is it called? The, the concept art. There's one right here on the other side as well. So that's definitely one thing we need to, we want to add, or I want to add as well. Um, uh, but I think, Hmm. I like to reference the in-game model more than the cosplay just because um, this is a little bit reduced when it comes to the details, I guess you could say, on, and the pieces. Um, so I try to, you know, just take some general inspiration from this, not really like the, the details mainly. Um, so, yeah. So I think the color is part of the cloth. So you not only have this piece that wraps around the, the, the neck to the chest, you actually have another piece here. So this piece is actually part of the, the cloth, that then merges with the um, this piece here, but this cloth is underneath the other one. And um, then you have this buckle that connects the two pieces. And this piece has a part of the, what is it called? The, the collar, and then this one has a, the other side of the collar. So yeah. Although then if we look at the back side, you can see Where's the collar? That's the cape, and where's the collar? That's the problem. <laughs> it's all confusing. I don't know where, where anything is. I, maybe it's a separate piece. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> but I think we can begin by, um, yeah, let, let's put this piece underneath this one. I think that should be could be a good start. So we need to probably extend this a little bit. We could maybe do some stuff here. How about, let's see. Okay, what if we move this stuff over here up? So we can create two lines basically here. Why does it look so weird? Hold on, let me fix this real quick. There you go. Um, okay. There you go, perfect. Now we can just use this and create the second row. Perfect, okay. So now we have two pieces here. I think that should be enough for now. Maybe we need more later, probably. There you go. Okay, and then we can bring this underneath this piece here. We can probably also extend it by one to the side here, just so we have one more row here to play with. I guess we can just use a cut right here and then extend it outwards.
We have to make sure that it's not intersecting with the arm, but we can look at that in just a second. Let me just quickly extend these outwards so they have some more room here. There you go. I think it bit me twice. Does it? Did it? Or is that just phantom pain? <laughs> I'm already getting paranoid. I noticed today that it's getting um, it's getting darker in the morning. It's darker than uh, I guess a few weeks ago. So it seems like it's uh, beginning to, you know, the uh, fall is beginning to come. You know, at some point it has to come, but um, with every year the um, the seasons sort of shift. It seems like so summer goes further into the um, the fall, I guess, part of the the year, and then everything shifts shifts kind of further and further back. They're coming to get you. Yeah, need to get some spray. <laughs> There you go, okay. That looks pretty good. Let me put that underneath this piece. I'm gonna hide this real quick. There you go. And then we can place it underneath. That should be good. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, is that too far? Yeah, okay, that's too far forward. There you go. Oh. It's like um, <laughs> what you mentioned there. It's, do you know this, uh, what is it called? The, um, the, um, grid? No, it's not grid. What's the show again with these two dudes that test, like, different bikes and different, like, motor vehicles? Um, and there's, like, a meme that is like, oh, no. Anyway, <laughs> it's like that, basically. Like, oh, no, the, the, the seasons are shifting now we have summer when it when it's supposed to be winter we have no real cold winter anymore oh no anyway <laughs> top gear exactly anyway let's go to uh, let's let's um you know we have these these i don't know coal we need to to sell some more oil um in uh, i don't know dubai let's go there now <clears throat> We have more important stuff to do. It was actually pretty funny. I, I, I found this new YouTube channel, which I watched a little bit. Um, they talked about the climate crisis and that the, I don't know what they're called, the people that watch over the climate and sort of make some, you know, make like, I guess they, they, um, educate they basically um they sort of control the the weather and they look out for some like like they they, they sort of um take 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 track keep track of the, the weather and to make sure that basically everything sort of like doesn't go like haywire basically and um it was like a video about how they <clears throat> um how they warned that or how how now the situation is basically if the weather is get rises higher than 1.5 degrees celsius i think it was celsius then um, we can't avoid like extinction level, I think he said extinction level like catastrophes, like weather catastrophes anymore. And um, <laughs> it was so weird because he basically like he talked about it like, oh, well, you know, 
so you, we have these um we will get these super crazy catastrophes that'll happen like extinction levels some like people will die and we will have the, all this chaos and then he said if the if it's going to rise over um over 1.5 degrees and then he said like oh well but it seems like we're not going to get there so they made this plan so that we don't get over two degrees so it's like oh well oh it's it's that bad already <laughs> so it's like it's like 1.5 isn't even uh avoidable anymore now we're going with two so that we don't completely die out in the next i don't know 60 years <laughs> that's nice to hear at least i'll i'll uh, burn uh, I'll, I'll, I'll burn to a crisp when I go out, at least when I'm 60, you know, I have some, some more time to live. Okay, we clean up the geometry there, that's better. Proceeds to slip him a bribe to keep quiet, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, most of the time it's not really the, um, the scientists that, that get bribed. The, it's the, uh, the, the politicians, because, like... Um, scientists can't really do much. They can just say, like, hey, government, don't you want to do something about this uh, ongoing hell, I mean, uh, weather crisis that's uh, getting worse and worse and worse? And then they, the, the um, politicians say, like, oh, well, that sounds pretty bad. I mean, we could some, we could do something about it. And you see, like, this hand coming in with, hold on. You see this hand with the stack of money, like, doing this? Maybe we'll do it later. And then, you know, 50, 50 years later, we have maybe new politicians that aren't really, you know, you know, that aren't part of the same, I guess, like bribes. <laughs> and then um, the cycle probably continues, you know. So it's like, a, you know, never ending cycle. You will, you will want to die before the climate gets too effed up. There's a new wave of old people that retire and need a pension coming f for us to support them all. <laughs> I mean... I think before I kill myself, I'll just kill them so they don't, they can't rely on my money. <laughs> you know? Eat or get eaten. That's my uh, my, my motto. Okay, so <clears throat> let's add the color. The color is um interesting. Wait, I kind of I hate this. I hate this. Let me look at the the video again. Dude, uh, what is it called again? Final Fantasy. And Walker Reaper, there it is. Okay, so, nope, no sound, please. So we have this bad boy, or bad girl, or bad creature. And then there's one scene where we can see the entire, like, 360 degree of the character in a short format. <laughs> Hold on. There it is. Okay. Okay, so we go through this frame by frame to analyze the clothing. The more I learn about politics and global events, the more I feel like doing nothing. Exactly. <laughs> it's this... Um, I wonder if they say a word for it. Words like... Okay, so let's, let's look through this real quick. So we have this flap right here, which is pretty clear. It's just like a flap on the shoulder. We have the same on the other side, right here. Perfect. That's exactly what we have there. Um, it. Oh wait, is there like a? No, no. It takes it. Is it above or below? It's hard to see. It seems like this color is a completely separate piece. Look at that. It seems like the color is actually a completely separate piece that is, um... That is where the buckle comes from. No, well, there's another buckle for it. I 
I think the color is a completely separate piece. And we can see the color from the back. Hold on. So if, if she turns around, you can see, follow it, follow it, follow it. There it is. Then, oh, wrong direction. Hold on. <laughs> there it is. Turn around. Well, you don't turn around. There it is. You see the color right there. See it? This is the color. So it's a separate piece. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. So now we know how it works. Okay. Now I get it. Okay. So it's a separate piece. Okay. Which is kind of weird, but you know, I guess that's fantasy clothing for you. You're German. You have a word for anything. I mean, it's actually pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> when I learned Spanish, it felt felt like um, Spanish had some words that German, the German language doesn't have, and then German has some words that the Spanish language doesn't have. It's actually similar to like I guess every language. There there are some words that just describe what you want to say better. Sometimes I like want to say something and like I speak with someone in German, and then I want to say a an English word because it, that describes the the thing that I want to say the most but then I remember well hold on I can't just switch to German to English now <laughs> okay so the color is an a separate piece okay <clears throat> so what I what I wanted to say is um it it, it feels like no, so the phen phenomenon that I'm speaking about is basically the idea that one person can't do much. So one person, you know, doing something, trying to like work against climate crisis doesn't really work because um, all these like big companies bribe politicians so that um, they can still do whatever they want and you can't really, you don't have any influence on that. Um, so one person can't do much, but a lot of people together can do a lot. So they could do like strikes or they could do like, I don't know, they could just not work basically so that the big companies can lose a lot of money um, because they rely on the small person to work, of course. Um, but nobody's going to do it because, you know, they themselves individually have no power. <laughs> so it's like a like an endless cycle right? you could do something together but then one person in that in the like if you look at one person in that group they don't really have that much power but you can do it a lot together but you know you don't have really power yourself so why would you do it but you can do it together <laughs> and then it's like you know this endless cycle <clears throat> it's not really overwhelming it's like this phenomenon that um together you can do a lot but alone you can't but because you can you can't do it alone you you have no influence alone you feel like you can't do anything it's like something like this okay um can i grab geometry from here probably ooh time for some more repurposing how about we grab this and this and this Perfect. Anarchy, exactly. Smashes cars. <laughs> Smashing cars is bad, okay? Don't smash cars. Oh. Okay. Let me use some. Um, oh. What happened? Press Alt S and then it just vanished. So if you use, you can, with S, of course, you can just scale. If you use Alt S, it is basically scaling on the normal. So that it just not just, not just scales out. It scales in the direction that the, the face is facing, which is, can be quite neat, actually. So um, we're going to just set this up as the color. Um, the back seems to be pretty simple, so I'm just going to set that up first. Let me grab the edges here. Pull it down, probably to over here, so that it can lie on the neck. If you want to switch to multiple, or if you want to select not only edges, but also vertices, you can press one or two, and then shift one or two to add the next selection. So you can see the three selection pieces here. 
you can have one, two, or three, or you can also have one and two. And maybe if you want, of course, three, you can have everything together. I like to have one and two so that I can, that I can move the individual vertices as well as just moving uh, the edges, which is pretty helpful, pretty useful, pretty nice, pretty neat. Okay. Saying all this to cut it later and make a modeling tutorial? No. I thought about doing like these quick mini explanations so that I can um, use them as shorts for YouTube or like TikTok videos. The problem that I encountered though is that I would have to timestamp them somehow. <laughs> um, and so far I just skimmed through the old re recordings and kind of looked for some like some stuff that I remember where I, for example, explained something. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, um, I need some, some sort of way to, to timestamp it so I can know where it was. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> and sometimes when I kind of realize that I, you know, talk about something that I haven't really talked about before, like a technique or something, I just like to elaborate on it some more to, you know, if I have the chance to explain something that I haven't explained before, why not? <laughs> That's why I um, do it sometimes. Okay. <clears throat> so, we definitely need to separate the two pieces. So how about we do that now? Uh, we don't need this. There you go. We probably can remove... So, it's a little bit smaller on the left side than on the right side, it seems like. We probably just need to remove one, though. Let's remove this one. There you go. And then let's kind of bring it closer to the cloak. <clears throat> I also want to give the cloak some some s s solidity. What is the, the noun for sol solid? Hold on. Solid noun. Um, ad adjective noun solid? Oh, of course. Wait. Solid, solid, solid. It all just says solid, but not nothing else. What is the noun for solid? Solidus? What? Solidus? That doesn't make sense. Chonkiness? No. <laughs> Thickness. That's what I like to use. Solid. Solidity. Ah, there it is. The state or quality of being solid. Nice. Solidity. So I actually said it right. I was correct. Nice. So let's add some solidity. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So this is probably on top of this. Let me look at the good old reference here. Hold on. Uh, this one's horrible. This one's okay. Let me grab one from the video. Oh. Okay. It gets more and more confusing. I'm annoyed. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this to me? Hold on, I'm gonna put it in into Blender real quick. Completely different folder, hold on. Nope. Uh, 
So look at this. Oh, I, okay, hold on. I need to pull up my folder again. Um, look at this. So it, it is sort of folded, of course, but it's part of something and I cannot see what it is. It is, there's this green sort of ribbon, but what is, what is it part of? What? What is it? I don't get it. Makes no sense. Where's that from? The green ribbon? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> I would like to know that too. I don't know. <laughs> Let me add this one as well. So many references just for this small color. There you go. So you can see it here. This is the connection view in the middle. And then this is just, it's just there. I don't know how it works. It, it's just there. Um, hold on. There you go. Okay. So I guess I'll just put it underneath and then it wraps around above somehow, I guess, maybe. Because you see the, 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 this one is way simpler. Like it just, it's there and then it stops there. And then there's a, the other one here. Okay. Mm. Okay. And let's adjust these, this thing real quick. First of all, let's look at the reference again. Okay. So, okay. As long as we don't see it, <laughs> we don't have to bother, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to think about it, okay? So I'm just going to push it underneath and then it's just going to come from underneath the cape. That's going to be the plan. There you go. And this is, of course, sort of free flying for some reason. Same on this side here. There you go. Okay. So we can probably move this closer. Hello. There you go. Nope. Please. There you go. Okay. And then this is definitely too high. Let me just go into sculpting. That should probably be easier if we do it here. So I'm going to grab this, pull it down. Oh. Oh, mirror is on. Why is the mirror on? Why would you do this to me? Okay, this is lower here. That's pretty good. 
We can immediately smooth the geometry some more. Looks like it's some sort of a scarf that holds the cape tied up, tied to the neck, and it's a bit bigger on the neck, on the back, since, since why, it's, why it hangs out. Maybe. <clears throat> okay. There you go. That's probably pretty good. Yeah, that, that's a good height, I think. Okay, and then we can... Um, so, should we extend it more all the way down so that, that we don't see... Wait, do we have a back shot? We do, right? We do. Where are you? There you are. See, there's no there's no skin. You can't see any skin. So, it, sh it should extend down as far as I can see. So, we actually need to put it underneath the um the cloak okay yeah that ma that makes sense so yeah let's remove the cloak for a second so we can uh do that wait where's the is it actually parented still probably okay that's the oh hello collar that's the um where is it? Can't see it. Come on, where are you? Why is it so hard to find this thing? Is it actually in a parent? It must be. Wait, but oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So let's um, add some more geometry here. Shouldn't be too hard. He said and regretted it immediately afterwards. to select all linked vertices in modeling god to use yeah oh wait does that help when i'm looking for an object in the outline wait oh so it should do something like this I guess. I'm not gonna extend it more. I'm just trying to, what I really wanted to do is just bring some more over here so that we can kind of cover this piece. Yeah, the meshes are in the same object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. We can smooth these vertices later in scope mode, so I'm not really worrying about the, the cleanness. I'm more worried about where the general placement is. There you go. Okay. Should we connect them again? I think that could be good. Yeah, let's connect them. There you go. Okay. So that's better. We need. Oh, wait, what happened? Did I just forget <laughs> this side? I guess. Okay.
I like this song. I don't know why this song always comes up, but I like it. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. I like it. We need to probably do some more here, though. Um, should we add one more? Um, pff, let's see what it looks like with the cloak. Yeah, why not? We don't really see it. Okay. Yeah, one more should be enough. And then the, the cloak is right there, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, now we have a few more clipping errors here and then we can we can finish the color, the actual color. What, what am I, okay. I'm, I was looking at uh, the new Fortnite event for the next season and um, <laughs> all, the only thing that I was, what I kind of thought about was basically like how much fun it must be just working on the team that always plans all these uh, like events like you know there are people that um that plan out or that create like models that are people that create um like they patch stuff and then there there's the group that just develops these these events and they're always so creative so that they can just like completely live out their their wildest fantasies because you don't you can do so much in unreal engine you know there's really like nothing really that holds you back so you can really do like anything what you want and actually quite fast as well so <laughs> it, it must be pretty crazy how um i wonder how many iterations they can do of the same event before they sort of reach the end and have like the final version <clears throat> I wonder if they have they have like two or three teams already planning for the next two, for example, so that they have like a rolling group that always does the the third installment after the one that they've just done. Okay, so the color is there now. I think this one needs to be extended more. So what we'll probably do is <clears throat> let's see. Let's do this one first. I don't think this needs to be that high. I think it can be lower, especially on this side. So yeah, let's do that now. I'm probably gonna remove these rings. They don't really, they're not really necessary right now. Oh, this one, that we, this one we don't really need. There you go. So now we can more easily move these edges here. So there you go. Welcome, Cynics. Hope you enjoyed your Wednesday. My system is a GTX 1060, I think, 6 gigabyte, and then a Ryzen Core, whatever. Hold on, let me see if, it, if that's in here. I think it should be. AMD Ryzen 7 1700 8 core processor and a GeForce GTX 1066 gigabyte <laughs> that's what i'm working with nothing too crazy but also nothing too you know good good performance nothing too crazy but i also cannot complain so all that you need. You know, you can always have more, but do you really need more? That's the question. Oh, the same config with the Ryzen 5? Nice. Seems like the 1060 is a um, is a popular graphics card. 
maybe I guess the 10 series overall. It's probably common, very, very common right now. <clears throat> GTX 950. <laughs> One gigabyte. Oh. I mean, you know. As long as you don't sculpt in 75 <laughs> resolution, you should be good. I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. If it starts to lag at 75. Common since the pretty prices were pretty low back then. Yeah. The mining started exactly. GT710. Oh my. Oh my, <laughs> when did you start learning Blender then? Was it like a long time ago or did you upgrade pretty recently? Or at least like, oh, oh. did you start with a lower performing PC? And then do you, <clears throat> you, um, You upgraded at some point. Okay, so this will be somewhere over here. Dude, it's so hard to see. No, this is actually not... Okay, this is wrong. There you go. That's where it needs to be. I want to get an upgrade, but I can't just fight boy buying a new PC until this one breaks. <laughs> well, that'll probably take a long time. I mean, you know, if you have a hammer, you can speed up the process, I guess. Twenty seventeen. Oh, twenty seventeen. Oh, that's longer than I. Wait, when did I start? I think I started in twenty nineteen. No, hold on. No, in twenty twenty. Yeah. No, twenty nineteen. Yeah. Last one I had for nine years. Oh no. <laughs> I think I have mine now for four to five years. I thought about upgrading, but right now, you know, probably not the best time to do so. <laughs> so I pushed that back a little bit until you can actually buy some stuff again for, reason for a reason reasonable price. You know, this, this image is just like, why, why, why do you put your arm there? Can you just show me what you have there for your color? No, you, you have to put your arm there so I can't see anything. And this one is like, it, it teases you. It gives you like the hands in front of most of it. And you can see these colors here. It's sort of visible, but not really. Why, why, why do you do this? And then this one is different to this one. Wait, to this one. Wait, this one is not really that good. 
this one you can see this one is the uh, the flap here the right side the other side sort of ends there somewhere so you have like this middle piece where there's just nothing it, i think maybe i don't know maybe not you know what no i'm gonna do it like this I have enough. I'm going to do my own thing, okay? I'm not going to follow the reference anymore. There you go. Okay. or bring them all lower underneath the cloak and then we can work this out. Watch my art station. I mean, you need to post it. <laughs> you can post it in, in chat and we can we can take a look. I hate it so much that I gotta make duplicates of the sculpt and blender if I want to add have older versions available. Um yeah. But I don't really mind it. What I what I usually just do is I like to save like a duplicate and then when I save it as a new version I just really remove the, the old duplicates and make a new one. So I only really have one at a time. So I don't get like I don't fill up my backup uh, collection with like millions of uh, of versions. Maybe there's an add-on for it, where you have like a save history. The worst about add-ons is that you usually, if you use new new versions of Blender, most add-ons aren't supported. So you look for new add-ons, and then you find a cool one that actually looks decent and might help your workflow and then it's just like well this one's for 2.79 well screw me then i guess I'm gonna use a new one or gonna look for another one which doesn't exist 11 copies oh okay <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Now we just need to give it some more detail. Who would have guessed? Let's see. First of all, I need to put the, kind of adjust the layering here. We can see there's a mistake here. Let's add another vertice here just to kind of separate the two pieces. Nice. Nice. Perfect. I 
Okay. So, I think we can go into scope mode and just kind of um, adjust the... Wait, let me adjust this shape real quick. So, is this one above or below the cloak? I think it's above. above. So, we need to bring the cloak lower. We can see how far it's apart, so just bring it back. There you go, that's better. Proper layering. Hold on, let me remove the color. You can see how far it is off the armor. That's better. Still pretty far off. There you go. Oh, not too far. Okay, that's better. So now we have some more room here. Where is my collar? There it is. Feedback tomorrow. So far, it seems like we have uh, no submissions. I guess you want to post some one, so we have one. <laughs> um, if there's no, if there are no more, I'm probably gonna make a post today, saying like, hey, tomorrow could be another feedback session. So if you have a piece that you want to get feedback on posted and if there's no posts tomorrow then we're gonna probably not do one and then um we're gonna probably do another one so what i like the plan is probably for these is weekly if there are enough bi-weekly if there are not enough but if there's at least one that i want to at least not like let it like stay there for like three weeks until we have enough so if there's just one for example and um it, it's been there for like one or two weeks then i would like to still give feedback on it <clears throat> even if it's the only one okay there you go i think that looks pretty cool that fits quite well and then we can Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. So it kind of clips through, but that's okay. We can adjust it later if we even need to. Let me save it real quick. Okay, so we have the color now, which is good, which was very complex, but now we, we do have it. <laughs> um, let's go to the next piece. Wait, we need to extend it just a little bit more. No, we don't. We just need to put it higher. Bring it higher up. Let me hide this. Can we just, let's just add another cut right there. Okay.
There you go. That should be good. Bring back the cloak. See if nothing, if anything clips through. Nope. Perfect. Okay. So we have these two pieces. Perfect. Let me see if we can fix this real quick. Okay. So these two are good. Let me see what the, what it looks like down here. Are there any like it's sort of ripped here down there? But that's. I don't think we need to look at that right now. <clears throat> We have the front view somewhere here. Well, the front view looks kind of bad. It's just like a ripped, ripped, um, I guess, edge here. So we don't really need to look at it too much. Okay, let's add the other pieces. So the side pieces here, they look pretty interesting. Um, they lie on top of these sort of plates, but I don't know if they're underneath or I think they're above the cloak. I don't know if it connects to the cloak. That's the question that I have right now. Let me give let, let me give this some thickness here, some sol solidity. Wait, what? Okay. There you go. Smoothing it out real quick. Perfect. Okay. Then we have the next piece. Wait, wait, wait. There's one thing that I want to look, want to see. It seems like this flap right here is quite long, and I think this is just smaller. We can probably pull this higher. We can see how much this kind of covers from the chain detail ornament here. I think we can move this entire thing higher so that we can see more of it. I think it's just generally too too big. It was not like it wasn't the case that the uh, the the collar was too big. It was the case that this piece is too big. Okay, and then, yeah, I think we need to make some more room here as well, so we can probably push this in as well, because that's where I want to, like, um, add my, the other piece, the shoulder piece. If we bring this closer, we have some more room. There you go. Wait, you can't see my... Oh my god, do I always have to s enable it? Why? Okay, now you can see my screen casts, I guess. Okay, there you go. That's better.
There you go. That's way better. That's not as big as it was before. Makes more sense. Okay. So we have this piece now. Let's go to the next one. Try some hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hair, is, hair can be quite interesting. <laughs> I think the first rule would be it falls down. <laughs> it has a certain, I guess, main like velocity when it comes out of the head. And then it just falls to the side. But then, of course, you have some um, like properties to the hair. So it could be curly, it could be wavy, which always affects what like the flow. And um, of course, there are like subflows and like stuff like this that makes it a little bit more interesting when it comes to um, understanding the the flow of a hairstyle. Okay. Hmm, so how do we connect these two pieces here? Um, if I look at the reference, it's really hard to see. Can I see it in this one? No, hold on. No, this one is bad. Can we just switch like this? No. We can see it here, but it's it's hard to see. There it is. That's the best one. So it seems like the cloak part here is quite quite thin. It's not in in terms of its width, not solidity. <laughs> so we can probably move this out a little bit. Like this. Maybe even more. Okay. Then we can connect the piece somewhere over there. The question is how? It is really, really hard to see. It seems like it's just like a flap that is lying on top right here that just connects. I'm going to draw it. That connects here from here. All the way over to this side. And that's basically it. Like, wait, like this. Oh, hello. Apparently I can't draw. There it is. Zip. And then it goes down like this. That's what it looks like. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Welcome back. Hope you... Enjoyed your Wednesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Joining with a very long hello. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your day. Maybe you, I guess you've worked on your game some more. Probably, you know, you don't have that much time to finish them. That's probably everything, like all you've been working on, I guess. If you have like only a month for three games. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Let me lower this a little bit. Okay, we've been fiddling around so much with this, but it is important, so I'm not gonna say it was wasted. And we also have some more time today, so we can actually spend some time on this. There you go, okay. <clears throat> so 
So, let's add this side first. Um, theoretically, we can just use the geometry that we have here. Like this. <laughs> I think. There you go. And just make it bigger. Hold on. There you go. That looks pretty good. <laughs> very simple, very easy. Very effective. Easy strat. Now we just need to shape it more, better. Improve it. Refine it. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, it might be a little bit long, so let me, let's make it a little bit shorter here. There you go, that's better. And then we also need to make it sharper here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Perfect, let's do the same here. We need to push it even further over here so we can uh, sort of attach it to the cloak right there, perfect. Okay, there you go. That's this piece. We can probably, we're going to sculpt in some more details. I don't think we need to do it with um, like poly modeling. We can just probably just use multi-resolution to do that. Or what we could do, <laughs> we could just do this. No, hold on. There you go. Nice. <laughs> very, very scuffed. But it works. There you go. Okay, let's do the same on the other side. Let me make this a little bit smaller, I think. It's too wide. That's better. On the front... Uh, maybe we can make it a little bit thinner here. There you go. Okay. Maybe we can even copy it to the other side. Let's see. So if we grab this. No, let's just... Ah, uh, let's see. And there you go. <laughs> that was simple. We just need to adjust it to the side here to make it look more appropriate. Change the shape and all that. And then we're good. I don't know how, how it is connected here, though. That's one thing that I don't know exactly. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. So many layers. <laughs> okay. 
actually, I'm going to smooth these out because I'm going to sculpt more detail in them. And I want to use the smooth brush to just kind of smooth out the geometry to make it cleaner. So it's easier to work with afterwards. There's not too much stretching here. There you go. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Well, I had it. I'm modeling started to look too weird and I keep fiddling with it a bit too much. So I guess it's pause time. <laughs> Four hours. Oh no. <laughs> Let me drink something real quick. Maybe you should do that as well. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so furry juice, what do you mean? <laughs> That's just water. What What would furry juice even be? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to want, want to know. Okay. So we need to connect these two pieces, which means we need another um, belt. So why don't we just grab this? Uh, maybe this one. Repurpose, reuse is your best friend. There you go. Days ago you said we don't know what's in your bottle. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you know. You still don't know until you tasted it. You know, could be uh I don't know. White no see through b uh b juice. <laughs> Or, yeah, glass, it's glass, it's, it's liquid glass. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's whatever you want it to be, okay? So if you want, want it to be furry juice, then, um, you know, that's your wish. Like for the subscription, hold on. Oh no. There you go. Wait, that's not right. Why is it not <laughs> act? Why is it not? Uh... Okay. Damn, I missed life actions. No. Why can I not? Can I not see the uh, the newest um, events anymore? Hmm. Like for the subscriptions, though. Unfortunately, I couldn't see the name that fast. But thank you. Welcome. Hope you enjoy. If you're here, hope you enjoy the stream. There you go. So this will be the um, the first sort of belt buckle here, strap, whatever. Yeah. So if you know, if you want it, want it to be furry juice, you know, if that's what you what you desire, if that's what's what's you know sitting in your head, 
then it could be furry juice. You no, know, it just depends on whatever you want it to be. I would like it to be water, you know? What, what you want it to be, you know, that's I believe my business. And I don't want to... I don't want to control it, okay? I don't know what fantasies you have, but, you know, at least, you know, as long as you keep them to yourself, then, uh, Mellow, thank you for subscribing. Okay. So, this belt, we have two in the back, so we need one right here. That comes from here all the way to down here. Perfect. So this is the first one. Oh, this is quite, f quite far off. So let's bring it closer. Oh, how about we use proportional editing? There you go. That's better. Why is Twitch special? Sub to all three of your YouTube channels and never got a welcome. Well, you did. No, you you sub. I remember <laughs> you you subscribed um, off when I was offline, so I can really thank you. Um, but. Mellow subscribed on YouTube, so it's not, it's not like Twitch is special. <laughs> there are alerts for YouTube and Twitch. Okay. So you had your time, okay? You had your time. You would, I, I wish, I just wa wasn't online, you know? If you wanted to get some, uh, some attention, <laughs> then, then, you know, you came too early. Or too late, whatever you want to, however you want to see it. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's add the second one. If we look at this one, we can see there's a second one. And then we can also see for the cosplay, there's like this hanging one there as well. I don't think that that is in the model though. If we look at it here. Oh no, there is one. Okay. So there's hmm, 2.1k more people to thank on the main channel. Well, <laughs> do you think I'm going to make a video? <laughs> I thank them every time they watch a video, so that should be enough. There you go. <clears throat> I made a... Hold on. Never mind. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I think I remember that story of the dude that printed all the, uh, <laughs> that thanked all his subscribers. I think that was like a while ago, right? There are quite a lot of videos that, that are like, oh, well, I reached like 10 subscribers. I'm it's so crazy. Thank you all. You know, probably 80% bots <laughs> nowadays. Oh, thank you for another subscription. I can't see it. It's too small. Nielsen Isaiah. E 
Isaisa. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Hustler, for the support. I appreciate it. See you now. You get a thank you, a appreciation. Thank you for subscribing. Hope you, if you're here, hope you enjoyed the stream. There you go. Okay, so <clears throat> the strap is here. Let's add the second one. So what I'm thinking, let's let's kind of draw it out what we want to do here. Carlos Valencia. Wait, who who is it then? <laughs> I guess. Thank you, Carlos as well hope you enjoy your day thank for subscribing okay so youtube delay okay <clears throat> um so we can't really see anything here we can see some here no we can't okay then let's use this one so we can see hmm how does that work? That makes no sense. What is this? There's the second part, but where does it connect to? And why is it there? So if you have one right here that is like this. There you go. Set it to... I don't know, this cutter here. And then there's another one right here. Up. There you go. Why is this one there? And then the second question that I have is, what is this one for? Just for aesthetics? Because it doesn't hold up the side. And it's just there to look cool, I guess. There you go. I guess it's just fantasy. <laughs> but the, the problem is, um, this isn't fantasy, so it has to have sense. Um, why is this piece of cloth not falling down? How is this strap connected to anything? Because that's the main question here. How is this strap connected? So this strap, I can imagine, holds this piece here. This, this sort of, um, this buckle piece here. Um, this ring can just be aesthetics, that's okay. I don't really mind that. But how is this one not falling down? Because, you know, this piece has weight, so it would fall down. So why is this one that is holding onto this piece also not falling down? There has to be some sort of secret to this. <laughs> Let me get rid of this. Okay, so... There's one thing that I want to adjust, which is the size of this color here on this side. I just want to make it a little bit bigger. Like this. Okay. Nice layering going on. Magic? No, it's not magic. Usually, if you see clothing... It's just like uh, like faces in like humans in uh, fantasy games. They don't just look weird. They have a certain structure to them because you you're supposed to see it as like it, the faces are supposed to make sense. Um, so if the clothing doesn't make sense in your eyes, then it's not gonna look good. So it has to have sense for it somehow. I just don't get it. Oh. There you go. There's always a reason for why it's designed like this. I just don't know what it is. Okay. There you go. And then we have this, the other one here. So we're just going to duplicate this again.
there you go. Okay, bring this lower, wrap it around the arm, like this, perfect. Go here, and then we can bring it all the way up again. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Somehow. Maybe. There you go. There you go. I guess that works. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> With all this layering, it looks pretty cool already. And then once we detail it. <laughs> okay. Let's um, do the rest. So we've basically added everything that we need to add here. Let's go um, to the headpiece here. The headpiece will be interesting, I think. How can we make this properly i guess let's look at the um, in-game model here it's just like a cloth wrapped around the head the face you can see it here as well he just lowered it some sort of you know ribbons or bands like this so what we could probably do is we could begin by just grabbing his geometry <clears throat> um from here, let's see. Does it does it um, go over the ears? Of course, you don't show your ears. Why would you? It does. Oh, it actually goes above the ears. That's interesting. So, what if we grab all this? Where does the head start? The head. Um, where's the head? Oh, probably parented as well. So I'm probably going to grab all this. Go all the way around. Do the same here. And then we go down. And that's what I'm going to grab. Grab. <laughs> that's what I'm going to grab. Oh no, I need to add even more. Probably we can just follow all this all the way up there. There you go. And then we can shape it better. There you go. We can't even see his smug smile. <laughs> well, that's okay. We don't need to see it. Maybe we can make an alternative version where he lowers his uh, mask, I guess, whatever that is. I'm not going to include the ears because I want to add different geometry there. Okay. Hmm. Do we really need this? I'm going to remove this. I don't think we need that part up there. Yeah, that's better.
Perfect. Select all of this. Then we can uh, mirror the selection. Select, select mirror. There you go. Perfect. Oh, hold on. We need to um, select mirror and then extend. There you go. Now both sides are selected. Let's see if that's a good selection. Looks pretty good to me. Nothing left out. Enough geometry to work with. Perfect. Okay. There you go. <laughs> we probably need to unclear the parent so we can see it. There it is. Let's call it mask. Mask. And then let's um, do some adjustments here. First of all, what I want to do is I want to probably make this flow, change the flow here. So can we work on both sides? We should be able to. Because if we set it from tool, oh, the mirror is on. So if I move this, perfect. Okay. Just gonna mer merge these. There you go, perfect. That's better. We don't need this. Face be gone. Merge these, perfect. Wait, did I move it? It seems like it's off-center. Maybe not. Actually, maybe just a little bit. Okay, let's grab it here again. Move it out. Oh, so it, wait, what is going on here? What happened? Wait, what? <laughs> what happened to this piece? Is it actually like that in the model? No. So what happened here? That's weird. Okay. Okay, I guess that fixed it. <clears throat> it's all scuffed now. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't use um symmetry here. Wait, where's symmetry? There it is. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, now we can bring it out without removing the entirety of the other side or bring it like destroying the other side. What is that? What happened here? What? 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 <laughs> what? What happened? Okay, I'm gonna do it again. This will not work. Okay. <clears throat> A 
Okay, so we have a few here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we remove these and then we have this part already done. So now we need the mouth region. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything all the way up to here. Maybe even going over the nose. That should be good. There you go. So we can replace this part here in the middle okay and then we go from here like to there there you go So we have this side selected, which means we should be able to mirror this. Let's see. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. So let's try that again. Um, okay. Duplicate. Separate by selection. Apply multi. No, we don't need multi rest. Apply, and then apply. Now it should be good. Looks good. Yeah, no, no it's or it's messed up again. But I don't know why. Hold on. Wait, what? Okay, let's let's do it differently then. I'm just gonna create a new mask here. Maybe that's easier. Okay, so let's hide all this. Okay. We're gonna begin with a cylinder. Very simple. <laughs> there you go. Just a few parts here so we can so we don't clip into the body. There you go. Do the same on the other side. I'm not I don't need to bring it all the way to the surface or to the skin you could say, because I'm gonna use solidify to basically push it all the way to the skin. I'm going to add thickness to the inside, not bring it out. There you go. Let's uh, extend it once more. Oh. There you go. Should be good. Okay. 
Okay, that should probably be enough. If we add all the rest back in, we shouldn't see the inner part, let's see. So if we add the color back in, yeah, we don't really see it anyway. Maybe there, but it, only if we see, if we look at it from this angle, which, who does that? <laughs> There you go, now you shouldn't see it anymore. Okay. Let's add the rest. Um, we can probably remove a few of these. Wait, how does it get... Oh, there it is. Perfect. Select all these and then we can remove them, dissolve edges, perfect, so we have less. Now we can work, we don't need to adjust all the, like the huge amount of vertices that we had before, we can just work with fewer, which should still give us um, acceptable results for the block out phase. And then we can, you know, add some more detail later. Okay, let's begin. So, <clears throat> I guess the only thing we really, to do, we really have to do is just go in here and bring it up. So let's grab these, go here. There you go. all the way to the chin or to the jaw rather for the first extension I guess you could say there you go do the same on the other side perfect Hello, can I please select? Okay. Hello, somebody there. There you go. Okay. So we've <laughs> we've covered the beginning of the chin, the rest of the neck, basically. Now we can get to the more interesting part here, the face. Maybe we should add some more here in the back first. Hold on. Should be too hard though. There you go. Perfect. Hello. <laughs> Let me please select the right vertices here. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> We could maybe add another cut right here just to make it um, cleaner. Okay, we can probably get, go even further here until we reach the end. Just clean this up and then we can go into the top part. Of course, poly modeling can be a little bit more fiddly. I probably also don't use the 100% best techniques, but at least um, we don't need to sculpt everything out, which would probably, you know, feel a little bit better, uh, the workflow, because it feels more organic and intuitive, maybe even, um, but it, it's probably not the most effective way to do it. Okay, let's go to the nose, <laughs> through the nose. There you go, and then we can probably Go all the way up to, hello, all the way up to there. Okay. Of 
This song um, reminds me of an old game. <laughs> uh, Rayman 3 on PlayStation 3. No, PlayStation 2. Was it? Yeah, 2. I never had a 3. Um, there were these like surfing areas where you like to transition to the next world. You had to like transition this. Um, <laughs> you had to tr like do like a transition area where you basically like you was doing like a, like a funky ride. You were surfing on some sort of like sound waves, I guess, or some sort of like um, some yeah, some sort of lines. I can't really explain what it is. Like like lanes similar to subway surfers, and um, but just like in some some surreal environment, I guess you could say. And um, I <laughs> there was always this funky music <laughs> in the background. That's what this reminds me of. I think we could even listen to it on stream because usually game music is not copyrighted because you can um, because then nobody could play the game like could could stream the game. Let's see if we can. I mean, you know why? Okay, let's see. I'm actually curious, so I'm gonna let's let's listen to it and then uh, we can. Um, <laughs> you know, I'll 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 know afterwards whether or not it's uh, it's copyrighted. Let me look it up real quick. Oh no, Hustler has, has subscribed again. <laughs> oh no, why does this? Why is this in the uh, in the activity feed, but not not um, not the other ones? That's weird. And this one doesn't didn't even pop up, as far as I know. Weird. Okay, let me pull it up real quick. Um, Um, what was it called again? Rayman 3 Funky Board. There it is. Hutlum Havoc. Five years ago. Funky Board Music Extended. 30 minutes. Sounds like a nice mix. Okay, let's go. Hold on. Hopefully you can hear it. Let's see. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Let's listen to that for some for some time. Get some funk going. Okay. I remember this song so vividly. <laughs> the, like all the times I've played Rayman, probably like five times or so, maybe even more. I mean, every time I like, start a new game, you would hear that music like in the first few um, vi like um, stages. And then every time you change the, the world or environment, you get a new one. Or at least I think the music is always the same, but the, the track is different. And then there's like this falling area that you can see here, that you can hear now. Basically, like you would like fall down like a hole, like a super, super far down, and then somebody goes, continues. Did, 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 did it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna see you, hustler. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> hope you enjoy your hope you enjoy your sleep. Maybe I'll see you next time. Enjoy. <laughs> okay.
Okay. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, there was another song that I remember. I can't remember the game though. It was this game where you have like these funky, funky board. No, that's that's the <laughs> that's Raymond. Um, where you have these these skaters, um, with their like disco skaters. I can't remember what the what the name of the game was. I can probably find it though. Hold on. Let me. Do that real quick in just a second once we finish the um the mask here come on why can i just select this okay we add two more here And it starts again. <laughs> oh, we should probably also just bring the ears closer into the middle because, like, if you wear a mask or like this sort of mask, you would probably push them closer at to the head. You can see they're quite far off. Let's do that. Hold on. Okay. Wait, there's no... Did I apply the modifier? Oh no, I applied the modifier. Okay. <clears throat> we need to... Um... <clears throat> Grab a grab an old version. Okay, let's see if we can uh, do that now. I'm just gonna save this real quick and look at the old version, the previous version. Okay, let me look up the, uh, the the song real quick. Hold on. Oh, what was it called again? Um, funky skater game. <laughs> no, that's not it. I don't know what it what was it called again? <laughs> was it was oh disco something disco disco Music game. No, that, that's not gonna get me anywhere closer to what I'm looking for. Um, old. Oh, I can't. Game. Skating game. Funky music. Not Tony Hawk or Skate It. I want to see. I want to. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, 
I just cannot remember what it was called. Um, what about... R roller blade? There it is. Jet Set Radio, there it is, okay. Jet Set Radio. OST, okay. Okay, let's let's listen to that. Hold on. Okay, this one's boring. Is it? Maybe not. Let's listen to it. Du, du, du. Okay. This one still has all the modifiers here, which is good. So how about we duplicate it? I mean, yeah, let's duplicate it. We can probably unparent it. Okay. <clears throat> and then... Yeah, we just... Um, let's rename it. Body replacement. Put it in its own collection. Body replacement. Bring the body in there. Perfect. Let's save it. And then we can open the old file again. So we can import the body. We can recover the quality that we just lost. There was a specific song that I remember, but I can't remember what it's called. So we just have to listen to all of them. <laughs> okay. And we need to append it. There it is. Okay, perfect. Where are you? Worst body replacement. There it is, okay. We put it into the old geometry here. Delete that. And then if we parent it to, it should have, yeah, it, should, it still has everything. So if we parent it to the armature, Perfect, okay, so now we just need to remove the old one. Is that the old one? Yeah, get rid of that one. Oh, perfect, and then we have the right version again. Nice. Perfect, okay. Let's bring back the, uh, now that we've, <laughs> we've, um, Avoided this catastrophe. <laughs> let's uh, let's continue. That's why I always um, separate or like I create new files from time to time, so that I have like clear backups that I can use for um, special occasions. You could say. This will be the mask. There you go. Oh, this one. That's it. Did it, did it, did it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. I guess we cannot use mo I guess yeah, we can't really use mirror because you know. Um makes sense. Why don't we just um remove all these changes again and do it again? Without the mirror. I remember I only know the song because of a because of an old Nintendo DS game, which was I think Sonic Tennis, where you had like those those characters as well, not only Sonic characters, but like Jet Set Radio characters as well. And there was also a stage that basically hosted like the 
the OST or like the, a song from that game. There's like a tennis court for every game. And I remember this, this music is from there. That's basically why I even know this game or the music. Okay, that should be close enough. Yeah, perfect. So now if we increase the um, detail, we should still have close, like ears that are close to the to the face, I mean to the head, nice. Perfect. Do -do 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 -do. Good. Where's the, um, ah, there it is. Okay. This is most disturbing. Okay, that's <laughs> an interesting song. Starting off strong. Oh. Still has some funk in it, I like it. There you go. We have the mask. Let's bring back the hat. Let's actually give it some solidity. <laughs> now that I know that that's the right word, I'm going to use it every time. I'm going to add the solidify modifier. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. He kind of looks like... Um, a Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> oh, we can probably change this here a little bit. Hold on. Yeah. There you go, that's better. Perfect. Where's the hat? I need the hat. Gimme the hat. Probably in the armature, right? Nope. Okay. Where's the uh Where's the hat? Ah, there it is. Okay, so the hat has some interesting, um, actually it's quite simple. There's not too much that we need to add here. Okay, so for the hat, um, let's give it some solid <laughs> solidity first. 
I'm gonna actually go out with this one. I think that's uh, that works better here. Perfect. Okay, so the shape is quite similar now. We don't really need to change more there. What I'm kind of curious is, what I'm kind of curious about is the shape over here at the top. It looks a little bit different than what we have here. Let's change it a little bit. So first of all, I kind of want to adjust the overall <laughs> uh, geometry here. There you go, that's better. Maybe we can do that again. Okay. And then we can use the grid fill to fill it. And there you go. We have some a somewhat decent geometry, I guess. Now we can adjust it a little bit easier. It especially looks better now. <laughs> so it seems like this front part is a little bit sharper than the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. There you go. And just make this a little bit sharper. Okay. Welcome, James. Hope you... Uh, hope you enjoyed your day. Hopefully it wasn't too stressful. Hustler already left. He went to sleep. <laughs> No, all we're doing is listening to some uh, old game music and uh, speaking about uh, the good old days <laughs> of, uh, yeah, basically those games. Do you remember this this music? Probably not. Okay, let me let me um, let, let's play a different one. Maybe then you're gonna. You, so let, let's play probably the most uh, common one. Okay, the one that is um, that I know. <laughs> Do you know it now? Do you know? If you don't, then uh, I'm I'm ashamed. <laughs> I didn't know the name either. I just I needed to look it up. Let's look at them, huh? But it's definitely a catchy music. <laughs> I have another one that we need to check afterwards if you don't know this one. Come on, you know this one. I know you do. <laughs> I actually never played the game, I just know it from a different game, where it's like a collaboration. It was like a tennis game where you had like a stage that has that had that song playing. Okay. Grab this, make this bring this out a little bit more. I kinda need some more room here. We can see the mask through this piece here, so I'm just gonna descend it just a little bit. Okay. There you go. I want to see some different um, angles here. This one doesn't even have a hat, so this one is not not a good reference. Well, this one we already saw. This one, no. 
here. Mm. Oh, this one's probably good. Hold on. There it is. Oh, well, so it's pretty simple, actually. Okay. So what we can probably do to kind of shift um, the, the sharp edge, we can probably just move this geometry over here so that this front here is a little bit sharper than the rest. That works quite well. Nice. Okay, we already heard this. Let's go to the next one that we haven't heard before. Oh, this one's seven seconds. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, now you probably know the name. <clears throat> okay. So I think the hat looks pretty good. I don't think we need to change too much more. Although, I want to change one more thing here. I want to lower this part here. Just a little bit. So that it, is, that it is more in line with the rest, so we don't have this weird bump there. Okay. Uh, okay. All your projects have been delayed by school. Oh no, I know it's you. I feel you. <laughs> Posted a pretty awesome lighting setup. Written tutorial I found. Okay, hold on. Does three point lighting suck? Ooh, okay. Key rim, warm fill bounds. Fill rim, 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 key. Key fill rim, subtle rim, fill key. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hold on, so. Although they share the same basic lighting, we have a lighting sort of name. Yeah, yeah, three-point lighting is basically <laughs> the easiest and most effective way to light a, light a, um, a, um, like anything, basically. And that's what I like to use as well, because it's so simple. Okay. So we have the mask, we have the hat, let's add the rest. The next step would probably be, wait, I want to make the other side here sharper as well, this side here. Okay. My Trevor Lang might try relighting scene at a time when you have at the moment. Yeah, I mean, that's also good practice, just relighting the stuff that you already have. You know, if you if you can't do new projects, you can at least, you know, speed up the process and go right into lighting by just lighting old projects. Works too. Okay, so I think the hat is in a good position. Um, is it too big? I think it's pretty good in terms of its size. It's right over the head, the head. So there's not really that much we can do to reduce it. We could like um, just 
bring this down just a little bit maybe. Oh. Like this much, not really much more. There you go. Yeah, that's all we can do. That's probably enough. Okay. Next up is the um, the small details. So we have these two sort of pieces right there on the head. Oh, we have a few of those. Do we? Hold on. It's hard to see in these screenshots because they're so small or so low resolution. So low res. They have so low resolution. We could add these bands first though. Let's add those first. Okay, that should be hard. We're just gonna grab this. There we go. Probably gonna, hold on. I'm gonna hide this part here. Okay, then we're gonna enable snapping so it's easier to place these vertices on the mesh. Perfect. Okay. So this one goes all the way around here, it seems. We're gonna add two more here. Okay, this one goes just all the way around, and then we have one more that goes on top. Um, I don't know if we have a good back shot where we see what it looks like in the back, but we'll see. That's something to worry about later. <laughs> okay, perfect. So that's the first one. There you go. Next one is also here. Oh. Okay. So that's the first one. Then we have this sort of um, knot right there, which we don't really need to add right now. We can add that later. What I want to add first is this band that goes over, over the head. I'm just kind of wondering where it goes. The problem is we can't really see it. <laughs> uh, look from the back. That's the hard part here. Oh, no. I guess it just wraps around the head. I mean, yeah, the top. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So this will probably start somewhere over here. And then go above the head, the head, somewhere over here, needs to sort of have some resistance so that it just doesn't fall off, that it doesn't just fall off, there you go. You know what I want to listen to right now? Hold on. <laughs> um, where is it? Title theme? No. Slider? No.
Is it? Probably. Hold on. Yeah, no, that's not it. Is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, I need to refill my, I mean, change the batteries in my headset real quick. Continue. Um, what instruments those are. Probably like a banjo, and then... I don't even know. What is... Yeah, what is, what is the main instrument? That sounds so weird. Okay, and then we need the knot right here. It's really hard to see. Dude, please. <laughs> nope, that's not remotely what I was looking for. Okay, well, I think I have some more references here. Okay. Oh, perfect. So we have these weird shapes there. Let's add those. First thing first, I'm going to add this weird thing. Um, okay. We can maybe use curves for these sort of things. <laughs> but before we do that, we're just going to use simple cylinders. There you go. So this sort of ornament here looks pretty good. I'm going to do these sort of round pieces. <clears throat> um, probably with a curve. Shouldn't be too hard. So I'm going to do this sort of blade here first. Um, I guess we could just, just use a plane here. There you go.
Oh no, it's getting scary. Wait, is that the scary music? Where is that from? I can't, can't even remember. There you go. A little bit too long. Oh, this one. That's the best. That's the best song. While you're drowning, hearing the most calming music in the universe. <laughs> Just slowly but surely, you're losing all your health. Not even to the eel. Just, you know, sitting there, relaxing, and then you can see these, the circle going down, 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 until there's no, nothing left. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> okay, let's do these curves here. <clears throat> um... So what we'll do is we'll just go in here and we'll bring this cursor over here. We're going to use a plane to create a simple... Wait, we can actually just use a um, a curve for this, a circle curve. I'm going to sit back down, hold on. Okay, so let's let's go through the last few meters. <laughs> We're gonna go in here. Um, I'm gonna want to I want to shape this like a circle that has like is like hollowed out in the middle, or like has a small bump in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this and bring it down like this. I can scale it down so the inner part is sharper. There you go. Looks pretty good. I think that that's that's good enough for now. <clears throat> we could also go in here and maybe can we move them individually? Hold on. No, can we? Hold on. Can we? Alt G, Control G. No, we. There's probably a way to to move them manually or separately as well. But um, I'm not gonna exper experiment too much. Okay. So that's the bevel. Now we need a curve. So we're just going to grab a good old path curve. Move it over here. Oh, the desert. Okay. And then we will go into the curve properties. We'll use the um, geometry, taper. No, we need um, object profile. No object. Which object? This one. And there you go, we have a nice curve. Okay, well this... <laughs> we need to move the whole thing back into the pivot point, otherwise this will look horrible. Probably, that's probably a good shape. Yeah, perfect, okay. So now we can just grab this and duplicate it. And we can create nice ornaments. I like to begin with three vertices. I'm gonna make those smaller. Alt S to make this smaller. There you go, bring it closer. I also like to move the curve. Basically bring one end of the curve to the pivot point so that when I when I use the um, the snapping tool, you can see it immediately snaps to the surface and I don't really have to move the bottom piece anymore. 
So I'm going to bring it somewhere over here. Perfect. And now we can adjust it. This one's pretty simple. We're going to make this one smaller. There you go. Do the same here. There you go. That's a very, very simple way to detail this piece. We can also add another, um, what is it called? A handle here in the middle by just subdividing it. There you go. Nice. We cannot bring them too close together. Otherwise they kind of intersect. Well, that should be pretty good. We can also decrease the um, resolution if we want to. Can we set it to like, I don't know, four, three? Let's set it to four. Wah, wah, wah. That's pretty good. I like it. Okay, so that's the first one. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Oh no, not that song. That's actually the song that I was looking for. <laughs> okay, let's do the next one. That's right here. There you go, that's the second one, and then we have one more. This one is shaped a little bit differently, but we're just gonna keep it like like this, because this is just the the base, I guess, um sort of like the the what is it called? The um the bait what? No, hold on. <laughs> the um The block out. So we don't really need to go into too much detail right now. <clears throat> The detail will come later. Okay, so we need one more. That's the, the that's what I was looking for. We can also twist this. Hold on. So if you make this thicker, we can press Control T and rotate it which can help with the um, putting this on the hat here. Kind of aligning it with the uh, sort of normal of the hat. You can see the, the shape isn't perfect, but it, you know, better than nothing. There you go. I think that looks pretty cool. Curves are your best friends when it comes to detailing. You can do so much with them. There you go. And now everything's here. Uh, we don't need this. Why is this still here? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Is there anything else that we need um, before we can detail the rest? Oh, yeah, one more thing, which is right here. <clears throat> um, where's the hat? Nope. I think that's the scary house, <laughs> the music. Ah, there it is. So we have these weird clips right there. That I want to add. <clears throat> that I want to add as well. So, let's just grab this again. A 
Okay. It's probably somewhere over here, like there. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's create the clip. Shouldn't be too hard. Let me remove the solidity first. There you go, so I can actually see what I'm looking at. Okay, so this one can be probably just placed over here properly. Hold on. I'm going to bring this closer to the end. Right there. And then I'll go in here and just adjust the general thing. Put it over here. Perfect. Maybe add one more cut in there so that we have the, like a small curve in there. Then we can go around and we have the clip. Perfect. Do we need even thickness? Hold on. Uh, doesn't it doesn't do anything. Okay. Oh, it does. Okay. Perfect. So that's the first one. We need one more. I guess we can just duplicate this one. Bring it over here. And then we need one more. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, this song. Okay, now we need to adjust these two here. The worst song ever. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I mean, we, we really only have to grab these. Uh, let's just use, use grab, grab one because of snapping. Let's make sure that they're snapped to the surface. Okay, I'm gonna grab this one, extrude to the side, make it roughly as wide as the other one is. Oh, the, the, the songs are qu quite short, actually. Of course, if you're in-game, they just run forever, but... Um, yeah, they're quite short. Wait, where's that from? Where do you hear that again? I rem Oh, isn't that like the forest area? I think. Maybe. Do, do, do. Or, no, that's in, in the um, pyramid, right? That's in the pyramid. Do, do, do. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, we need to adjust one more thing here. And there you go. We have everything that we need. Oh, uh, okay. And there you go. Perfect. We finished the block out. 
Let's quickly check if everything's here. The straps down there. We have this knee, these knee pads. Oh, we have this, this sort of extra here, uh, but we can add that later as well. Then we have the boots. What is this? Wait, do we need to bring them? No, okay. You know what I want to do? I'm going to make custom um, shaders here real quick. So what I'll do is I'll go in here. Are there shaders already? Okay, let's remove some of these. We don't need a retopology shader anymore. There you go. What do we have here? We have the iris material. What is material? What does material look like? White. Oh, it's glowing. Okay. Gradient texture. I guess we don't need this. What about Retopo? Nope. What about Retopo 001? Nope. Perfect. Okay. So now we have a clean slate of materials. Let's create our own. To give this not random colors, but actually correct colors. Or like better colors than what, what it looks like now. So yeah. I need a reference here. I guess we can change this one. There you go. Okay, so basically everything's black except for the uh, the face. So let's make a new material here. All I'm going to do here is basically go to the viewport. I'm not going to change anything here. I'm just going to go to the viewport and change the color. Can we just grab it from here? Probably. Easy. There you go. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, detail these pieces here. So this band seems to stay white. Okay. Then we have gold right here. Let's call it gold. Let's call the other one skin. Can we have a better... Oh, there it is. Something like that. Perfect. Now oh, that's quite... Let's make it a little bit brighter. There you go. Then we have... Well, everything else is sort of black, right? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's make a black shader. Black. I'm just going to call it black and then we're going to make it black. Something like this. Yep. Metallic. Nope. Roughness. Pretty rough. Like this probably. Okay. This one can probably keep the same roughness. This one can be pretty like metallic. Roughness. Pretty low. There you go. Nice. Now let's... um. <clears throat> Put all these together here. We have the arms. Well, we have everything, basically. Link materials. There you go. Let's go to the next pieces here. Perfect. Um, this mask is also black, as well as the hat. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> da -da -da. The 
the pants are black as well. Everything's black. Okay, what about the... Okay, that's black as well. One more. Link it. Perfect. Then we have gold here. Oh, isn't that Iron Mario? I don't really know. I think so. Perfect. Welcome back, Athrun. Hope you have enjoyed your Wednesday. Um... This character is a new class in the upcoming expansion for Final Fantasy XIV. Um, it's a Reaper class, so that's the original here. Um, and yeah, so we we created the first layer of armor. You can see one one layer is already pretty detailed, and now we created the second layer. Now we basically continue by detailing out the second layer because you know. The base mesh isn't really enough. <laughs> we need to give all this stuff some more detail. And then we have the full character. Then we need to go to the glaive as well as the wraith in the background. Um, yeah, but of course, we're going to start with the, um, the character itself. This one seems to be gold as well. There you go. Wait, is that gold? Yeah, it is. Okay. And then we have these few pieces here. They have a different look. Hold on. No, we can't really see it there. Nope. Where's my good reference? There it is. Okay, so this is gold. Oh, there's one more. Hold on. Oh, that's Toad. <laughs> there you go. This one needs to be smaller. Perfect. There you go. And then we need to color, color them. All these small sound effects. Um, this one can probably also be gold. Link. Materials, perfect. And then we have the bands. Hold on. And we have the silver piece here. So we need a silver. I guess we can just call it silver. Very original. Silver. <laughs> what is that? And then we have this sort of brass, we have this sort of like a brown piece as well, hold on. There is like a brown part here for the for the sort of wraps around the face and also around the hat. I just need to see the hat, there it is, perfect. I guess brown, there you go. Well, that's quite similar. Hold on. There you go, that's better. And there you go. Now everything is colored. There you go. Wait, is this one still... This one stays white, right? Yeah, 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 it's just white. We could probably just apply silver, I guess. Why not? There you go. Okay. 
perfect. So we, um, the character is retopologized. It has retopologized, like, yeah, I retopologized the character, but I haven't, um, I haven't, um, created a UV map yet. Maybe I don't really need to because it's, um, we don't really see the character itself. Maybe I'll do it for the other pieces here, you know, to add some more detail to them. Um, but I don't really know if we need to do it for for basically his face. <laughs> everything else we can't really see. Maybe his fingers as well. But everything else, you know, is hidden by, by the rest of his body. I mean, by the rest of his clothing. Let me make a quick screenshot here. I want to see his face real quick. There you go. Yeah, I, I probably... Let me make a separate version here where he lowers his mask. <clears throat> mask version 2. There you go. Just gonna remove some here. That's probably enough. And then we can pull the other ones down. Oh. Why is it so scuffed? I guess I have to apply scaling. go bring it all the way down good old Bowser <laughs> Okay, this is the alternative version <laughs> with the uh, the mask lowered. Perfect. Because I kind of like his face to be, you know, kind of seeing his face. I like that. Let me um, put that up to one. There you go. Yeah. I like this version as well as the other one. I think both have like their style. This one is closer to the original. And the other one is more um, like personal, pr like personal preference. This one. But we're going to go with this one mainly. Let me make a quick screenshot here. There you go. Yeah, just view, viewport render image. Well, this is quite quite far away. Wait, is it taking the camera? As the render object? No. Is it? It is. No, it's not. Ah. Okay. Hold on. It's a weird sort of way how that works. 
Apparently I need to go out of, like he needs to be out of frame to be in frame in the render. Oh, almost. Almost there, almost there. Perfect. Okay. Final, final lockout. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so this will be where we're going to end it today. We finished the block out. The character looks pretty good already. Now all that we need to do is give all these pieces some more detail. So we'll probably go just one by one and, you know, work on them. These ones, I don't think they're that hard because we can use lattices to put them on the legs. Um, yeah, this piece shouldn't be too hard either. Um, yeah, we'll go through them one by one and um, give them more detail. And then, yeah, at some point we're done. <clears throat> so, hope you enjoyed today. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, chatting, or just being here. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Maybe I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.